It's so important to try and appreciate the, the little things in life. And the big things too, but just to appreciate, to 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 understand that there's all these wonderful gifts available. And that even though th things can get really crappy at times, there's beautiful and wonderful things. Um, now this won't apply to everyone, but you know, family, um, appreciating family to appreciate your uh, your kids or your your niece or your nephews or your grandchildren's laughter and excitement and joy um there's the ch child within that they possess because they're children as an adult to possess the child within it's so important and so awesome if you can connect to that part of yourself but yeah just to appreciate the 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 beauty of of this experience it's it's important. It's important to stop and, and smell the proverbial roses. Try to help out others. Try to do good for others. It will make a difference. It'll make a difference in how you feel about yourself. If you help, if you are helpful to others, thoughtful, thoughtfulness, caring, gentleness. There's so much BS in, out there in the world, right? There's far more good than bad, but because the the uh, the the news and the television and the, uh, the newspapers and the media and the schools and the hospitals and almost all the institutions you can ever think of they're all part of the team that wants to show this world as one of scarcity when it's a world of abundance they want to show a world that should be feared but it's a world full of love and even though I try to avoid the cont the the topic of religion, a lot of the religious stuff has to do with fear based things, but love. There's so much love, and it's so important. I had a I had a recent uh, vacation that I was um that had the I was I was I was able to go on and I'm thankful and happy and and and, and joyful and appreciative that I was able to go on a vacation, um, and I went with a couple of family members and it was just wonderful and I really enjoyed my time and I I, I savored it and I appreciated the moments and I cherished the moments and I it's and it's hopefully I'll be able to do that again uh, you know and 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 it's something that I will. I will be able to uh, remember. I have memories of, and and it's just it's just great. And it was just so nice. It was so nice to connecting with people that I don't don't get to see much, or people that I uh, that I just care for. And it's just it's good. It's it's just nice. And I just I just wanted to share that those those feelings of of love. Uh, it's just it's 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 really nice and of course it's a double edged sword um because in this physical physical version of reality there's negativity as well and there's arguments and and anger and and, and just there's bad things too of course but but try to appreciate try to try to enjoy and and and, ex and your experience of the good things try to try to focus more on that the more you focus on the positive the more positive you're going to get, vice versa. The more you focus on the negative, the more negative you're going to get. Because somehow this physical reality that we call life on Earth, it's more like a dream than a than than physical. Even though physical is what it seems to be on the surface, the the rules, the properties, the attributes of this reality, it's more like a dream. But it happens slowly. In the physical, it's so dense here that the dream components occur slowly. What, I'm, what are you saying, Sean? Well, when you're in a dream at night, particularly if you're able to lucid dream, where you're, you're dreaming and then you become aware that you're dreaming, and then all of a sudden you, like, you're like, holy crap, this is a dream. You can do whatever you want. And you literally can control the dream and manifest whatever you want, pretty much. So it happens here, too. You manifest physical reality you manifest things you create things it doesn't go poof out of thin air but coincidences or synchronicities will steer you into finding that five dollar bill that's blowing in the wind 
coincidences and synchronicities will help you decide which job to take, which college to go to, who to marry. Coincidences and synchronicities, those are attributes. Those are different things available to help you, tools to help you manipulate and manage this physical reality. It's not chaos. It's not random. And your energy, your thoughts, and your feelings that you project outward have a big say in what happens to you in the future. Your beliefs are also a huge factor, what you believe is possible. So yeah, just a few thoughts that were um, that I wanted to uh, kind of share with you guys. I uh, hope you're doing well. Please remember that you can make the world a better place by just doing random acts of kindness. Do one random act of kindness for a stranger once in a while. You will literally make the world a better place. It's the hundredth monkey syndrome. It is the butterfly effect. Throw a penny on the ground and a little kid will have a lucky day. All right, guys.